Hello everyone, welcome to the world of software testing. So in this lecture, let's discuss about why software has bugs and why it can't be 100% bug free. So again, this is one of the most important interview question which is getting asked in the interviews. So you must be prepared before going for, for the interviews for such questions. So you can just remember some of the reasons because of which software has bugs. So the question arises as a testing team carry out various types of testing on the software application then why the software has some bugs left out in the production. So let's discuss about discuss about this in more detail. So there are so many reasons because of which the software has bugs. The most common reason is the human mistakes in the software design and coding. So it is very important to know these reasons because of because once we have all the reasons with us, it's very easy to take the corrective actions to minimize the defect in the software application. So let's understand some of the reasons because of which software may have bugs in it. So the first one is communication issues within the team, lack of skill testing, the software complexity, changing requirements or the volatile requirements, programming errors, lack of timing, excessive dependability on automation testing and the last one is that is third party software development tools or other dependent tools. So these are some of the reasons because of which software has bugs but there are lot of other reasons as well apart from this. So you can just mention or you can just remember out of, out of these reasons here. So the first one is communication issues within the team. So it's very important to have a proper communication with the team between the team. If you have gone through the agile manifesto, one main value of agile manifesto is individuals and interactions over processes and tools. So overall success of any software development project, it depends upon the communication between the team, which includes all the stakeholders, development team, testing team, deployment teams, and whatever the teams are involved in the software development process. So the unclear requirements and misinterpreted requirements or the information is the main factor to cause a defect in the application. So the miscommunication or the lack of communication during the various phases of the software development process, it can be right from the requirement gathering to its interpre interpretation or the documentation till the last phase can make defects go unnoticed and or unreported. So as those are unreported, those will not be fixed and those will, will, will get passed to the production phase. So also due to the changing requirements, there may have chances to miss some of the requirements requested from the customer. So the communication flow plays an important role while in the software development process. So the first main reason is communication issues within the team. So there must be a proper communication within the team to get a defect free application. The second reason is lack of skill testing. So the software testing phase is a key phase in the software development process, which plays a very important role in finding out defects in the software application. And if found any defects, get them fixed from the developer and only deliver it to the production once all the defects are closed. So the tester should report all the defects to the developers, get the fix for that particular defect and then again retest that particular defect or the functionality and if all those defects are fixed then and then only we can deliver it to the production. So the software testing team should have skill tester in it. Testers should have high ability to find out the defects as well as they must have strong domain knowledge. So they must have the knowledge as well. If the testing team lacks with a skill tester, defect finding ability and domain knowledge, it can lead up to the defect leakage into the application. And then those will get passed to the production phase. The third point here is software complexity. So software complexity is one of the another reason because of which most of the software remains with the bugs in it due to, due, due to its complexity. 
So some of the softwares include multiple modules, sub modules, and it is very, very complex by its nature. So developers may not able to fix the codes due to such complexity. So in such cases, if the developer is unable to fix the codes within the stipulated time, then the tester needs to defer them for the particular release. So in such cases as well, the bugs will get passed to the production. So using, using the object oriented languages makes software code unnecessarily complex sometimes which leads to the bugs in the software. The next is the changing requirements. So, so the changing requirements from the client. So for example, the last minute changes uh, requested by the client side. So just before the product release changes made to the infrastructure requirement, tools, platform, etc. can be dangerous. So actions such as testing the compatibility of your software across the variety of browsers and operating systems, database migration, etc. are complex things and if done due to the last minute change, they may introduce bugs or errors in the software application. So if there are any minor changes or major changes, known and unknown dependencies, then the part of the project are likely to interact and cause the problems. And the complexity of keeping a track of changes may result in errors. The enthusiasm of engineering staff may get affected because of the volatile changing requirements. In these cases, the management must understand the re resulting risk and QA and test engineers must adapt and plan for the continuous extensive testing to keep the inevitable bugs from running out of control. So this is the fourth reason because of which software remains with a bug. The next is the programming errors. The programmers can make common programming mistakes, lack of programming experience or lack of domain knowledge can introduce simple mistakes while coding. So the lack of simple coding practices, unit testing, debugging are some of the common reasons for these issues to get introduced at the development stage. The next point is lack of timing. The improper unrealistic project timing plans is the major concerns during the software development process. If there is a lack of timing in case of requirement analysis, design, coding and testing, it's definitely leading to mistakes in the understanding the requirements, design, coding and testing as well. So almost all the phases must have proper realistic project planning should be there. So this thing leads to bug in the software application because of the improper unrealistic project timing plans. The next is excessive dependability on automation testing. Since the automation testing lacks human intuition and experience, being ex excessively dependent on it may make a manual tester miss a bug or defect. Writing automation scripts take a lot of time, especially for complex scenarios if the automation teams record write any 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 test script but forget to update it over a period then that test, test would become obsolete and will not be helpful to find out the defects in the software application so if the automation test is not validating the results properly then it won't be able to catch the defects so this is one of the major reason because of which the software remains with a bug the next is third party software development tools or other dependent tools. So the third party tools such as the debuggers, HTML editors, add on or plugins to save time, map navigation, API, shopping cart, plugin, etc. or other dependent tools that are often needed during the software development but may have bugs in them that pass onto the onto your software. So whatever the bugs are already present on that third party softwares that will get passed on to your software and continuously changing the software tools are used by software programmers. So keeping pace with different versions and their compatibility is a major ongoing issue. So these are the eight reasons because of which software remains with the bug. So you can remember all these eight reasons here.
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप यू हैव लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोज एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट दी लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर्स विल डिग फर्दर इन टू द सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सो स्टेट यून थैंक यू सो थैंक यू सो मच